Hi family, it's Tuesday, so we have Tuesdays with Very Wise Alternatives, and we're here to answer the subscribers' questions. A subscriber asked about the bladder rack CMOS and Wise, which I call it CMOS Wise. Yes, this is my, my jar. I take two every morning after breakfast. Yes, I just make sure I take my vitamins after I have my breakfast. So yes to the subscriber, yes. I mean, think about it. 102 vitamins and minerals that you your body needs regardless so if your body needs it i would take it because it is a godsend the creator pulled all the stops when they talked about when they made this so yes i take it every day because of the health benefits something that that helps with radiation it gives you iodine and help it be blood skin and uh well bone skin and you know all the other things help speed up your metabolism it helps inflammation so you know i take this bad boy daily i take two just take two every day after breakfast so another subscriber and i want to say her name miss washington i appreciate you <laughs> i really appreciate you she specifically <laughs> put it for tuesdays with uh very wise alternatives bless your heart um she wanted me to discuss the differences of bilberry elderberry and bayberry so let's talk about the benefits of bilberry we'll go down the line benefits of bilberry benefits of bayberry and then the benefits of elderberry so the great benefits of bilberry, bilberry, you know, strengthens the blood vessels, help improve circulations. It does treats, helps treats for diarrhea, uh, is great benefits for your eyes. Bilberry is wonderful for the eyes. It helps for the, the eye improvement, the strength of the eyes. Um, it also helps uh, lower glucose. It's rich in nutrients. Um, it reduces inflammation weight loss it helps with um it prevents the clotting in the blood vessels it treats uh it helps treat the urinary utis um it has great aging factors now if you go with um elderberry elderberry is okay so you already know uh we all love uh elderberry because you can make it a syrup you make it a tea and all the great benefits you know it says that it well study shows it says that um it, it prevents it helps prevents cancer uh it you know helps with colds and flus built you know helps with your immune system it's pretty much the same elderberry um you know, it's packed with antioxidants and vitamins. It boosts the immune system. It does help tame the inflammation. It lessens stress. It protects the heart. And it has, you know, uh, we already know it's great for colds, flus, sore throats. Same thing if when you go to Bayberry. Bayberry, you can goggle it and it can help your sore throat. It does um, ease digestion and infection, and you can also take bayberry and put it on uh, to heal wounds and ulcers. Now, they all help with the immune system, but um, mm, there's, there's so many similarities. Uh, so, for as picking them and the differences the um the bayberry i would look at the bayberry as ruling off for as the um it, it's best for the ointments and and the and the skin ulcers um the main thing i would look at the bilberry for eye health main thing i would look elderberry is for you know you can of course all of them you can make teas but i would look at the syrup for as the the, the cold and the flus not at all <laughs> next uh miss washington asked about mixing the cut silk and powder yes you can mix them all it just um you would have to grind them up so to make the capsules you have to grind up so we always grind everything up when you can purchase to cut the sift and the powder you you want to and then you can you know you make it but if you make the tincture you can use all of it making the tincture um it all depends on what you want to do but yes you can mix um 
you can mix them all <laughs> in the herbs if that's the question you ask because it says is it okay to mix different forms cut stuff and powder up herbs yes yes you can um and then you want to know about the time frame of taking taking the um the herbs and medication yes um some most of the medications out there are herbs but it's synthetic it's uh it's transformed into another version of the herb and you do not we always recommend three hours three hours or more because you don't want it to interact you don't want to cause any reaction or anything negative so things can happen that's why we always recommend please <laughs> three hours three hours the best thing to take um, now if you're taking uh, other herbal supplements or other vitamins they're okay it all depends on what you're taking so you d definitely want to make sure you um, <laughs> just like when you go to the pharmacist and they take all your medications and they tell you this does this, this you know this interacts with this same thing with your vitamins uh, everything is fine but it and all depends on the person it all depends on the person's certain vitamins are better for the evening mid afternoon morning it all depends on what you're taking so <laughs> always uh, uh, you know know what you're taking but yes it's okay to take herbal supplements with vitamin uh with other vitamins and minerals it's it's fine it's nothing wrong with that it's just some are best taken uh different times a day um let's see what else she says um and i guess that's it i hope i answered all your questions um so but okay that is all we have for today i hope i answered all your questions listen we don't mind answering your questions uh, that's what we're here for. So put your comments down below <laughs> and we see you next Tuesday. Bye.